Are you an angel? Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Like, subscribe, share, comment. There seems to be a Luke Skywalker problem over at Disney slash Lucasfilm. There's a lot of rumors going around that they have reportedly told Jon Favreau and others that they can no longer use Luke Skywalker. He is out of commission. You want Luke? You can't use Luke. We're saving him for nothing. These are all rumors and speculation. I don't know how they start or where they come from. Are they factual? Sure, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the room. Neither are you, but let's talk about it. Here's the problem with Luke Skywalker. I think since the dawn of the purchase of Lucasfilm by Disney, there has been a severe misunderstanding of the character. I'm not talking about The Last Jedi. I'm talking about before The Force Awakens was even called The Force Awakens when it was just called Episode 7 and Michael aren't had his script the problem with luke skywalker was every writer that seems to have come on board seems to have this value of luke skywalker he is a great jedi he is a great character the problem was they create turned him into a myth now everything he did is a big epic story but when he went to the second death star he didn't tell anybody nobody was like oh luke's gonna go fight vader then he went and he burned vader silently without anyone around i don't think luke skywalker back then would have bragged about what he did and i don't think the people around him would have done the bragging for him either so i feel and every time like michael arndt or jj abrams or someone said every time luke skywalker came on the screen it sucked the energy out of the room and everything was all had always had to be about luke that is because of the writing of luke skywalker the handling of skywalker in universe that is not an issue in universe luke skywalker has a purpose a determination but outside of it we overvalue him and we're like oh he's this great jedi he's this he's that and that's when it becomes a problem and when you build him up to be the myth then ryan johnson comes in and he tears that myth down and tries to rebuild that myth and then you have all the divisiveness and whatnot coming at it because from the get-go there's been a complete misunderstanding of luke skywalker i think he was handled quite well in the mandalorian i mean it was a freaking cameo so yeah and he was handled perfectly i thought in the book of boba fett with grogu and his decision making with grogu and how he kind of learned from that and whatnot the mistake i'm feeling right now is if this is factual and lucasfilm is no longer allowing luke skywalker to be uh, used in any new material then we don't get to see this character evolve into the character that we meet in at the end of The Force Awakens and in The Last Jedi, which I think is crucial for a lot of fans. I think the fans that do not like Luke Skywalker, I think there's a lot of them who might never turn around, but I think there are some who might actually want to see how we get from one to the other. And that's a big, big missing piece of that puzzle. How does he get from here to there? And you could tell us the story all you want in three different ways, and you can have everyone tell us whatnot. And you, you know, Han's like, he went searching for the first Jedi temple. Why? Well, we wanted to commit suicide, but that's never explicitly mentioned. We're going to get more with Dawn of the Jedi from James Mangold. Maybe that'll get us into the first Jedi temple. We'll learn a little bit more about that. But until then, I think it's crucial for us to learn more about Luke Skywalker. I don't know if having the deepfake technology and all that is the way to go for all of it. I don't really mind it. The voice thing's a little creepy, but whatever. I thought he worked well in that. If the rumors are true and they're not allowing it, I do I think it's a mistake on that part. That being said, I really don't need Luke to be our protagonist in everything going forward. I, I appreciate him showing up for a cameo for him to do this and deal with that. I think Battlefront 2, the story of Battlefront 2 when he showed up, I thought that used him perfectly. I think if you insert him like that, like little tidbits here and there, that's the way to go. But again, like use those moments to kind of build towards what we get with him in the sequel trilogy, but you draw it out longer and people might have a new appreciation of how he got there. And then also maybe they won't i don't know maybe some people won't get turned either but we'll find out but that's i mean i mean if these rumors are all true uh, let me know honestly what you think in the comments below i'm very split on it like i said like on one half of me it's like let's see more but on the other half i like the new stuff we're getting with the new i love the mandalorian characters but but i like i like what we're getting there on the other hand i really want to see his his kind of like where how his mind got all right everybody thanks so much for watching please give me a comment down below i really appreciate those and until next time may the force be with you